What's up, you guys? My name is Mary, and with High Priestess Intuition, welcome my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading. Caps to everybody and everybody in between. Don't forget basic. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. It doesn't apply to apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Um, just saying, just saying. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're 13,050 subscribers, so thanks so much for all the love and support. If you'd like to donate, feel guided to do so only. Um, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out. No Venmo. Um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys and the recent donations. I just want to say that real quick, too. Okay, so this is actually retake number two because I had the channeling and then I lost it. So this is retake, redo number two. Uh, but I got it back, so we're going to do it. We're going to do the reading real quick. Just saying, just saying. Uh, maybe one of you guys is in brain fog. Uh, maybe one of you guys is in brain fog. Have brain fog like me. Um, I don't know. You plug it in how it resonates, okay? Um, so, yeah. So, the channel message I received was um, someone's um, someone's significant other um, and some uh, some their significant other, some their family member, um, and some their co-worker is trying to convince them not to watch uh, terror videos, terror reading videos. However, um, through many series of chain events, this person um, has, some have been watching them, some are about to start watching them. Um, they're about to realize that they're um, getting them, uh, strategically convincing them not to watch them for reasons. Um, and then I heard because the real truth is being exposed. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Well, that's so strong. And that's why I was like, oh my God, I hope we get it back because that is so strong. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So for some of you guys, it's your coworker or co-workers. For some, it's your family member or family members. For some, it's your significant other. Now, significant other could be a girlfriend, a boyfriend, fiance, a live-in, a uh, legally married spouse, or anything of that nature. How that resonates, okay? So I feel it's at least three of you guys in the universe. Um, I feel you might watch my channel. That's why I'm pulling this energy in. Or somebody connected to you watches this channel. Or you might watch it in the future. How that resonates. But however that resonates, there's a reason I'm pulling this in. I heard they're really, really, really trying to convince you not to watch tarot, tarot card readings, basically. Um, so, spiritual realm, true light side beings, basically. Psychics, um, tarot card readings, spiritual, spiritualists, true light side beings, though. So, like, psychic medium community, like, I'm psychic intuitive messages over here. Uh, but I focus on, um, I do tarot readings. I do tarot cards in mine um, to help clarify with the messages and things of that nature. Or a light side spiritualist or what have you, what have you. Or just a tarot reader, how that resonates. But um, how that resonates, though, so they're trying to strategically convince you if this resonates for you or somebody you're connected to. They're trying to convince you or somebody you're connected to not to watch tarot land, basically. The light side tarot land, not fake dark art spiritualist. But the light side tarot land, because the real truth's being exposed. So in the current energetic space, it's being exposed through tarot land through readers, and I, I'm not, I mean, whoever the readers are, there's a crap ton of us out here, true light side spiritualists, there are a ton of us, okay, so whoever the readers you're, you're watching or somebody you're connected to is, how that's resonating with whoever, okay, but I heard it's, um, it's about to backfire, it's about to back, well, some it's already backfired, some it's about to, so some of you guys, it's already backfired, you're watching, some it's about to backfire, and you're about to watch, so, wow, man, you go with your bad self. Um, I think, into, I just want to say, this is not a channel psychic media message. This is just from my confirmation from my fat boy, by the way. Come on, fat boy. Come on, baby. Come on. I know. Come on. Double confirmation from fat boy. Just say, come on. A dreadful, I know. Come on. Come, are you just going to talk to him? Come on. Uh, yeah, but how that resonates, um, yeah, um, because truth is being exposed. I think it's being exposed on something related in your community or relating to a situation you're involved in or was involved in or a situation your toxic coworker or coworkers knows about and they don't want you to know about or your significant other knows about and don't want you to know about or your family member knows about and don't want you to know about. Basically, they're trying to blind you like a Clydesdale horse blinders. 
But some, it's already backfired. You're already watching. Some, it's about to backfire and you're about to watch. So welcome in to the hashtag real truth, uh, real talk truth seekers and truth exposers. Just saying, just saying. Wow. Okay, I feel guy, let's see. Uh, I wasn't going to do another one tonight, but I did get that channeling in. So, and it was a very important one. So, well, I'm here. So, um, I'm all sweaty, which you can't smell me, but um, I'm all sweaty because I went walking, walking, walking tonight. Walking real good. Um, miles walking. Um, and it felt so wonderful. Just saying. I think I feel guided to get um, this deck. I think we're going to use this deck. Spirit wants to see wrap reflective. Wisdom. Yeah, you're learning wisdom in these. Uh, you're learning the truth. Some you're about to. You're learning wisdom in these tarot readings. Whoever you're watching now. I mean, I don't know who in the world you're watching. Um, but, um, you, of course, you know, please use your best discernment, you guys. It's very, I just want to make this clear with this channeling. Whoever you are, some you're about to start watching, some you're already watching. It is, and a lot of, I know a, a, many of the readers that I promote, they use the same disclaimer because it is the truth. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. When you're watching these free general readings on here, okay? It's very important. I feel you're watching social media platform readings or you're about to. There's a reason I'm pulling this one in. I'm a strictly an online social media business for me. I don't do clients that come in my home. So I feel it's social media based. Um, and I'm just being for real. Um, whoever this is for. Um, but please use your best discernment. Please don't get, you know, if the message does not apply, you have to let it fly, man. Let it fly like a birdie, okay? But if you know it resonates, you know. Just use your best discernment, logic, reasoning, and intu intuition when watching readings, please. Okay? That's my disclaimer. Okay. Number 22, 10, or 42 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 22, 10, or 42. It could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to or a child of yours or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. 22, 10, 42. We have wisdom upright, discernment upright, the masculine upright. I strongly feel for some, it's masculine energies trying to convince you not to watch these readings. Or feminine that takes on heavy masculine. Because everybody embodies masculine and feminine energies. Everybody. Masculine and feminine. And that's just the truth for a world. So, and we're pulling the masculine upright. So, I feel it's your co-worker or co-workers that is a masculine energy or a femme that took some heavy masculine trying to convince you not to watch these readings for some. For some, it is a family member that is a masculine or a femme that takes on heavy masculine that's trying to convince you not to watch these readings. And for some, it is a um, significant other, a masculine significant other or a feminine significant other that takes on heavy masculine that's trying to convince you not to watch these readings. But they're doing it for strategic reasons because of truth, i.e. the wisdom that you have already learned or you're about to learn. But we also have discernment, so you have to make sure to use your best discernment. Don't be forcing anything that doesn't fit, and that's just the truth, okay? Okay? Let me see if I hear anything else. Or for some, you could be a masculine. They're trying to convince not to um, watch the readings. However that resonates, or fan that takes on heavy masculine, however that resonates, okay? But as always, please use your best discernment, logic, and reasoning. And I know it gets a little confusing in Terra Land. I know it does. Um, I know. Uh, trust me, I watched readings for two years before I started reading. And I started reading because me and my family were getting gang stalked, me and my kids were. And I was trying to figure out what the hell was going on in energetic space. That's the whole reason I started reading, just for anybody doesn't know that. And then I started gaining um, spiritual gifts from the spiritual realm like two or three weeks after that. Um, and it's just, here we are, two and a half years later. Um, but my point is, is it gets kind of confusing at first when you start watching. I know it does because I've been there. 
But you have to learn to just plug in what resonates and leave the rest, too. Um, that's very, very, very important, you guys. Um, because if not, you will get confused. Um, and I, and that is the truth, okay? So please don't force anything that don't fit. Please don't, okay? Um, I don't want anybody to get confused and um, getting confused, okay? Wisdom. Some have already learned big, 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 big truths. Some are about to. Some have already learned big, big, big truths. Some are about to. So um, you plug it in how it resonates, you guys. Some you've already started watching, regardless of them trying to convince you not to. There, I heard there were strategic reasons they're trying to convince you not to. Um, but some you've already learned some big truths. Some you're about to. So wisdom, knowledge, the big, big, big truth here through these readings. Now, whoever you're watching, it could be me or somebody else or a combination. Because like I said, there's a ton of us readers out there. And I know for my channel, I promote a lot of readers. Um, a lot of online platforms, they don't promote uh, readers with those little videos like I do. But that's just my creative way of doing it. Everybody has their own creative way of promoting readers. Um, some just do it in their videos. Some they use other ways. That's my creative way of doing it. But um but if they choose to promote readers, some don't promote other readers. Um, that's their own free will to do so. But I like doing it because I feel it puts good into the spiritual universe. It helps us stand cohesive um, and united um, in the spiritual realm and community. That's how I look at it. Of course, everybody has different viewpoints. Discernment. For one, you've already ran into a very karmic reader. For one, you're about to. You really, you're going to feed into this person. For some, you already have. It, it would be very smart to stray away from this person. For some, through series of chain of events, you're going to. Oh, okay, whoa. So some kind of karmic reader energy? Um, whoever this person is, I, I, I don't know. That's all I heard. So let's pull a tea leaf. Some kind of karmic reader energy out there in the universe. I'm going to try to figure out to see if we can figure out who this person is. But um, you plug it in how it resonates, um, you guys. Um, for one, you've already ran into this karmic reader. For one, you're about to. Um, one, through many series of chain of events, I think you're about to realize they're a karmic reader um, and you're going to stray away from them. For one, I heard you're going to feed into it. So your discernment and your intuition is going to be off. Um, but maybe through the series of chain of events, you get a wake up call that they're a karmic reader is what I'm feeling for some. Um, but only you know your story, not anybody else. You have to plug it in how it resonates. Let me pull some cards on this discernment card. Spirit, can you give me some clarifying messages for the discernment, please? And see if I channel anything else. Spirit, can you tell me who the karmic reader is, please? Spirit, can you tell me who the karmic reader is, please? Pig, beware of greed. Okay. Spirit, can you tell me who the karmic... Oh, my Lord. I think you're emotional over person, people, place, or situation, or someone's emotional over you, because when we get these plethora of cards out like that, it can, disar it can mean that, or it can mean maybe you have addictions or somebody you're dealing with has addictions. However, that resonates and applies in one's life. I heard put it back. heard put it back. I got short journey. I heard put it back. 
We have beware of greed. So I think this person is very greedy. Um, whoever this karmic reader is, they're very greedy. Um, yeah, let me see if I hear anything else. They tell you what you want to hear. But for some, you're about to realize it's not the truth. They tell you what you want to hear, but for some, you're about to realize it's not the truth. So you plug it in how it resonates. They tell you what you want to hear, but for some, you're about to realize it's not the truth. So they're very greedy individual and um, they, they, they tell you what you want to hear, but for some, you're about to realize it's not the truth. So I'm thinking with the Beware of Greed card and that channeling, I think they have a large, very large following. Very, very, very large following. Um, or they charge a lot for personal readings. Um, but I will tell you this. I charge a lot for personal readings, but I do it because of my services. I channel in from spiritual realm. Um, maybe they charge a lot for readings and they don't get um, they don't get um, spiritual downloads is what I'm thinking. Maybe for some. Maybe they charge like a buku for just regular readings and they don't get channelings, like spiritual downloads possibly. Because I, there's a reason I charge $125 for 20 minutes. But it's because it takes a lot of time, energy, and effort to channel in from the freaking spiritual universe. That takes a lot. And especially with the personal readings because I want to be very, very, very accurate. Um, and that's just the truth. And I want your reading to be the best it can be. Um, and I never charge over. I never charge over. If I go over like 30 minutes, I never charge anybody extra for that. Period. Point blank. I never have. Um, but whoever this is for, I don't think that's that. I think this is, this is a karmic reader. It's a karmic reader. So let me see if I hear anything else. I didn't hear anything else. I think for some, they might overcharge or they might ask you for money. For a, um, They might ask you for money or they have a huge following. I heard they tell you what you want to hear. They tell you what you want to hear, but it's not the truth. So however that resonates, but they're very greedy. So there's some kind of money involved here. There's some kind of money involved here or a very, it, there's either some kind of money involved here and you're paying this person, um, like your hard earned money for the, these readings, or it's a very, very, very large social media following and they get their money on the back end like I do. However that resonates. Mm. I didn't hear anything else. Let's pull one more. Spirit message that you have for the card too. There's definitely money involved there. Whether they get it on the back end, if it's social media energy with an extremely large following, like I only have 13,030 subscribers. Some people only on here have freaking 200,000, 300,000, 400,000 subscribers. And I mean, that's the truth. And that's, I mean, hey, they go with their bad self. If, I mean, if they've earned that, but... Um, but, you, but it is important to use discernment for sure. Spirit messages you have for the collective. Home, reading businesses, and online social media. Home, reading businesses, and online social media is what I just heard. Home, home businesses, and online social media businesses. So, so it's not just happening online. It's happening home businesses too. Uh, some kind of money involved, I think, with the home business. Um, I'd, obviously, that wouldn't be a large online following. Um, wow. Spirit messages you have for the collective. Not unsuccessful plans. Okay. I'm going to stop with the, car, um, the tea leaves. For some, this individual is a younger feminine energy, 35 and below, long, dark hair. 
For some, this individual is um, a young feminine individual, um, 35 and below, a long, dark hair is what I heard. So she's 35 or below, and she has long, dark hair, um, which I, I have long, dark hair, but hell, I'm 38. So whoever this person is, she's 35 or below, and she, uh, for at least one of you guys, and she has long, dark hair. Whoever this person is and however they apply, that's for at least one of you guys. Of course, you only take the messages and use discernment. That resonates, okay? Uh, she can either be a home tarot reader or an online social media platform. However, that resonates and applies in one's life, okay? That was very specific, okay? But I think she's definitely charging you. She's definitely charging you, or uh, I think she's definitely charging you for the home businesses. For the online, I feel it might just be a very large social media base, and I'm just being real. Or she might be charging you. Um, well, which, I, I don't know. I don't know. You plug it in, how it resonates. Unsuccessful plans. For one, it's a younger, 35 and below, feminine energy. She's dyed her hair blonde. For one, she's a young, for one, okay, so two fem energies here. These are the karmic readers. For one, it's a younger, 35 and, or below, feminine energy um, with dyed blonde hair. Both of these are Caucasian feminine energies. Both of these are Caucasian feminine energies. So both are Caucasian. So one, they're both Caucasian in this situation. One, not Caucasian. Different ethnicity. Long, dark hair. Oh my God, it's coming out. Oh my God. So, okay, 35 and below feminine energy. Oh my God. Okay, so three. So 135 and below Caucasian femme energy, long dark hair. 135 and below um, dyed blonde hair, um, Caucasian femme energy. One other ethnicity I heard. I don't know specifically what ethnicity she is, but she's not a Caucasian, I'll tell you that. Um, 35 and below long dark hair. So you plug it in how it resonates, you guys. Oh, my God. You plug it in how it resonates. And one masculine energy, 35 and below. One masculine energy, 35 and below. Red hair. Red hair. One's bald and one's bald. And two masculine karmic energies, 35 and below. One has red hair, I heard. Um, Caucasian energies. Caucasian, Caucasian. So they're both Caucasian. One is 35 and below. These are a lot of young karmic readers. 35 or below, um, both Caucasian. Um, masculine energy with red hair. One, 35 or below, Cauca uh, Caucasian masculine energy with and he's bald. So you plug it in how it resonates? Dear God. I think they um I think they've given you a crappy reading in the in the, in the in the past or they're about to. However that resonates, but you um or for some these people could be the ones convincing you not to ooh, for some these people could be the people convincing you not to watch the damn readings for some possibly. But I did hear specifically these are karmic readers for some. You plug it in, how it resonates. Not unsuccessful plans. This is about to hugely backfire on these people. There's about to be huge energy shifts here. Huge. This is about to seriously backfire on these people. There's about to be huge energy shifts here. Huge. So... As much as they're trying to convince you not to watch the uh, tarot land, basically, um, these karmics, but there's karmic readers on here too, just saying. Um, and I feel for some of you guys, these people might be the ones, the karmics trying to convince you not to watch the readings. Of course, you use your best discernment and logic and reasoning and plug in the messages that resonate, leave the rest. 
But however, the, I feel it could be dual energy is what I'm saying. But you plug it in how it resonates. But however that resonates, um, I heard it's about to seriously backfire on them. It's about to seriously backfire. Um, it sounds like you're going to, some you're already doing it. Some you're going to do it anyways um, for the ones about to come into Terra land um, and new to Terra land. Um, for some, it's home readers. For some, it's um, online. So Terra land in the 3D or Terra land on online. However that resonates, psychic, medium, S type energy, or hopefully you get a real psychic because um, there's a lot of fake psychics out there and that's just the damn truth so um you plug it in how it resonates you guys let me see if i hear anything else oh my gosh Okay, I didn't. I didn't. Wow, I hope this helped. I really, really did. That was a lot of specifics on these karmics. Some karmic readers, some karmics trying to convince you not to watch these readings, whether it's a co-worker, a um, family member, or a significant other. How that resonates. I love you guys so much. Everybody have um, a wonderful night, and I'm safe.